Now let's uh, uh, go to practice. Uh, we'll calculate the measures of uh, shape. First, let's uh, calculate uh, uh, skewness. For skewness, we need to calculate cubed uh, deviations. To calculate the cubed deviations, you can uh, simply uh, use uh, a deviation multiplied by uh, the squared deviation. For the first case, negative 1.4 times 1.96 and give us negative uh, 2.744. So that the negative sign carries over. For the second case, 1.6 times 2.56 give us 4.0 nine uh, six so we do the same for all cases that uh, give us uh, cubed uh, uh, deviations uh, such as this for every single case and uh, we can also find the sum of cubed uh, deviations now this formula uh, is what we use to calculate the skewness. Numerator is the sum of cubed deviations. So 14.792 goes to here or here. Okay. The denominator is n times the standard deviation raised to the third power, the cubed standard deviation for the sample. So here, 7 times 1.81 raised to the third power. Okay. And 1.81 uh, uh, cubed is 5.93. You complete this calculation, you obtain the value 0 0.36. And this is a measure of skewness. So skewness is 0 0.36. This is a value, is a positive value larger than 0. So we say that the distribution is positively skewed. This means that in the data set, there are um, large outliers. Uh, there are large outliers. Okay. So this is the skewness. Now let's uh, uh, calculate uh, kurtosis. For kurtosis, we need to calculate uh, deviations raised to the fourth power. This can be simply calculated by using uh, the deviations multiplied by the cubed deviation. For the first case, negative 1.4 times negative 2.744, you obtain 3.8416, and you keep the uh, uh, decimal to the third places, to, to, uh, to the, uh, to the uh, three, three decimal places, you obtain 3.842. Okay. For the first case. For the second case, 1.6 times 4.096, you have uh, uh, 6.554, okay. and again, you do this to all cases, and you obtain um, the uh, deviations raised to the fourth power, uh, such as this. Okay. And again, you can find the sum of uh, deviations raised to the fourth power. Power. And this formula um, gives us the way to calculate kurtosis. There are two parts in this formula. For the first part, on the numerator is the sum of deviations raised to the fourth power. So 74.174 goes to here, goes to here. The bottom part, the denominator, is number of cases times
times simple standard deviations raised to the fourth power. So 1.81 raised to the fourth power is 10.723. Multiplied by 7, we complete the calculation of the first part. We obtain a value 0 0.99, but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. So 0 0.99 minus 3 give us negative 2.01. This is the catharsis that uh, we are looking for. Since this is a negative number, we say that uh, the distribution of this data set is uh, flat. This means that uh, we use a normal distribution as a reference. Later on, we're going to discuss the characteristics of normal distribution. This data set compared with the normal distribution, it is flat. So now, uh, this table lists all the um, values of measures uh, we calculated in this in-class activity. Now, in our demonstrations, we use this table. As you can see, that uh, within data values, there are repeated numbers. Okay. Five occur four times, eight occur two times. So the on calculation, as you can see, that uh, for those uh, values that are the same, we did the same calculations numerous times. So for example, we did uh, uh, calcula calculation for five, same kind of uh, calculation every time we repeat four times. And this is not necessary. For some data set, there are many, many repeated values. To avoid um, repeating uh, calculation such as this, we design a data table like this. In this data table, the data values, the distinct data values occurs only once, but we have a column that tells us how many times this particular value occurred in the data set. For example, we, for five, we record frequency four, and for eight, we the frequency is two. So when you come to calculate uh, the sum of uh, uh, squared deviations, you first find the deviation for each data value, and you square them. Then you, in this column, you use a squared deviation multiplied by the frequency. Then you find the sum. And this sum is the sum of uh, squared deviation for the entire data set. And you use this number to calculate the sample variance. In the same way, when you come to calculate the uh, uh, cubed deviation for the entire uh, data set, you first find the cubed deviation for each value. Then in this column, you multiply the cubed deviation by the frequency. Then you find the sum that would give you uh, the sum uh, cube deviations for the entire data set, which is necessary when you come to calculate the uh, uh, skewness. Finally, uh, the same principle apply to the calculation of the deviation raised to the fourth power. To uh, basically, you first calculate the uh, uh, deviations raised to the fourth power for each data value and then multiplied by the frequency, you find the sum over this column that should give you the, um, the sum of uh, deviations raised to the fourth power for the entire data set and bring that number to calculate the catharsis. So at home, when you have time to use this table to do uh, calculations 
of Plato, the result should be exactly the same as those that uh, you obtain in using the other table. I hope this helps. I see you next time. Goodbye.